Um, so today I'm just trying to figure out this. This is the the pretty sure it's like the water pump, I guess. So it gets gets driven by that, which is comes off this, I believe. So I think the oil pump. No, that's not it. Yeah, so this is the oil pump, and so as it's turning, that marries into there, and it turns this. So the harder this is working, the harder the coolant system is working, which makes a lot of sense. Um, but, so this thing doesn't move, it's only got about a one eighth of a turn going there. I haven't read up anything about it, but I'm just going to try and take it apart. So, like always, at first, I'll have a go without reading the manual. And I'll fuck it up. And then we'll figure out how I should have done it. There's some oil in there. So what have we got in here? Feels rubbery. Can't see any circuits or anything. happens if we hit it? I give. Okay, you're gonna have to go get the manual. Uh, I've done some reading. And the uh, water pump assembly is not serviceable. I have to replace it. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to find one on the parts bike. So just having a quick look. I've got to get in. I've got to get in here. Pull this off. So this is the water pump cover. Pull that off and get the water pump out of there and hopefully it's usable. Okay, so what I'm hoping to do is without <laughs> any trouble, I'm hoping to pull this water pump cover off, pull the assembly out and hopefully not have to worry about pulling um, this off and this off and this off. That, that would be nice. Uh, I don't like my chances though. Nothing ever goes right. Anyway, here we go.
Gloves is only new for me. Um, I never really used them much before. I just like using that rough, rough sandy soap or that, that, um, what is it? I don't know what it's called. That pink. It's like it, it would come in like a 10 kilo or a 10 litre bucket and it was just this pink stuff and you used it as a hand wash. Uh, that was what my dad used to use uh, at his shop. Used to buy him, buy him a tub whenever he was getting low. Love that stuff. Love the smell of it. Using it's probably giving me cancer though, who knows? We'll find out. Okay, that's two. Sometimes I think like they engineer these things on purpose to make stuff difficult. I'm sure it's not the case, but fuck it feels like it sometimes. not going to come off. Fuck. Oh. Well. Oh, fuck. Now this this little tag here just sliding behind there must lock into Part of that. That's that's why it's not coming. Great. Oh, you see this? This is my favourite tool ever. It's a little um. Let me get the focus. Focus. There we go. So it's like a little ten mil. It's got a ratchet. Um, it comes in so handy. I bloody love it. Anyway, back to getting this fucking cover off. So I think it's just going to be, I'm hoping it's just a case of, what have we got? 8mm, 8mm, 8mm. Two, three, four. Maybe the clutch has got to come out as well. Just trying to pop this off without blocking the camera. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, eight mil bolts. That was a ten mil. Um, I'll take this first. Be interested to see what this looks like inside. Sometimes. feel like I've used the wrong bike as the main bike. Sometimes I think I should have used this as the primary build and used the other one as the as the as the parts bike. Um, that's the reason I didn't was because this bike has never been registered. Whereas the other one did have a registration history 
and I think that, that just makes it easier um, to get it on the road when I'm finished. Um, I hope, anyway. And I guess it doesn't matter too much because I am completely pulling it down and I'm going to change the crankcase bearings and stuff like that. So I guess if there was anything like that wrong with it, See this, it's a little bit manky, but it's quite a lot better than the condition the other one was in. I think this is my favourite way to do a bike build, is like have two of them and just put together one out of them. It's good because you can use one as a reference when you get lost on the other one. And you've got plenty of parts. Okay, there we go. That's off. Look at that crud. Yummy. Ooh, look at that. Looks like a funky wombat poo. Okay, so. Let's, should we zoom in? Let's zoom in a little bit. No, that's out. So I'm not sure how well you can see, but just there. That's the bit. So that was, what was that getting? So just that part there of this. It's just putting that there, locking that. And I guess that makes sense. You, know, you don't want your fucking water pump falling off, do you? Anyway, so, oh, look at that. Look how much better that is than that. And I fucking cleaned this too. Okay, anyway, I've got to get it off. And I think it's just a matter of pulling it out. Or not. Alright. I'm going to Use a heat gun. This one here, um, that'll heat the rubber up and make it easy to get off. Should do anyway. is off. What's it give here? So, there we have 
moves freely. Everything looks good. I'm happy. Okay, so here's our water pump. And cover. Here's our other one. It's out the way. So just look at that compared to that. Uh, no rust, moves freely, this one rusty as fuck, and it's seized, won't go any further than that, so absolutely useless, bye bye, this one, I mean we need a new, a new one of these, this I can tidy up, Oops, send it a powder coater. This I can just clean up, replace the O-ring. Uh, even though like the oils, everything looks good. Everything looks good here. So really not much to do with that. I don't really care about the paint here. Um, because this is the visible part. Not that. So yeah, just a bit of a clean. That's the water pump.